Welcome landing crew to our homeschool room tour. Lonnie and I worked all weekend so we're very excited to share this with you guys. But just some keynotes before you see this awesome homeschool room tour. We have four children, three of which we homeschool. We have a seventh and eighth grader and then we have a 10 year old son Noah who has autism and intellectual disability. He should be on a fourth grade level but he's on a first to second grade level. So some of the things that you see that are a little bit younger is due to that. But we also have a crazy two-year-old toddler who is into everything. So when putting together this room, we had to be cautious to not do anything where Lex could just get right into it. But I hope you guys are excited as I am. Are you excited? Are you excited? Are you excited? Let's go. Okay, so this is our dining room, by the way. I really haven't cleaned it off, but this walks into the homeschool room. It also has our front door. So it's the first room when you come in the home. This is a rug that was not placed together. Obviously, I need to work on my homeschool room tour skills. But over here, you have the daily calendar. This is Noah's to help him get accustomed to the days of the week, the months of the year, the seasons, all those great things. It is a Melissa and Doug calendar. I absolutely love it. I will leave a link in the description below, but it has lasted us for almost a year now. So when you take a step back, you see right over here is a bookcase. This is actually a glow in the dark globe. So that's kind of what happens there. And on the globe, it shows different animals in each region, which is super cool. But anyway, this up here is kind of our fun reading books that the kids can choose from. And then down here we have uh, textbooks that both the kids use or all the kids use, or I just didn't have room for it. Noah's books are here for his math because I couldn't find any other space. That is not supposed to be there, guys. I was not very prepared, was I? Okay, and then down here is Noah's reading curriculum. When he gets to a level where he can do all about spelling, his spelling curriculum will go here. And then down here we have a Harry Potter book collection. Now I made sure that these two shelves did not have too much on it. Lex could care less about this bag. He has no interest in it. So I felt like it was safe to put in his reach. So next we have over here is Noah's desk. And as you notice, these two desks do not have chairs. We are gonna be getting computer chairs for them. But this is Noah's desk. It is very, very simple. It folds up and there is that. Okay, and over here we have Danielle's desk. If you couldn't tell by the anime and little cute characters. Now, I don't think she's going to have three monitors, but she also has it set up like this, not just for school, but this is also her recording area. So if any of you guys watch Lucy Craft on YouTube, then this is kind of her station that she will be recording. So having more than one monitor is important. Now over here we have well, that's not supposed to be there either. That's our external hard drive. But this is her paper white Kindle that her books will be on. And then this is a script. Ooh, you can't see that. That episode hasn't went out. And just extra things. So these are just where her books go. She can organize them as she sees fit. I'm not really caring too much. At 13, I figure she can just do her own thing. And then over here, we have Lonnie Jr.'s desk. He has the dual monitors because he does YouTube as well, but also it's very useful for them to have. And we got these monitors at Goodwill for I think like three or four bucks each. So it was a really good deal. But this is his desk, same thing. I let them kind of organize it as needed. His Kindle paper white is in there as well. And next to Lonnie Jr.'s desk is this big old five foot whiteboard. We tried the smaller one before and it, we just kept running out of room. So I got a really big one 
Then of course here we have the pencil sharpener. And then on this back wall, we have really big maps of the world and a really big map of the United States because both the kids do geography and the maps they provide are so small black and white. I also enjoy having the maps there because we just have day-to-day -day conversations with the kids when we're watching movies, when they're asking, well, where is this? Just having a map and being able to have something physically to show them, to be like, go the wall, look at it and see is really, really neat. Um, but in between, this, this is where the kids turn in their work as they do it throughout the week. And then this is just a cute little poster I saw on Amazon and I really liked it. I really like it above where they turn in their work. And it says integrity is doing the right thing even when no one is watching. So that's just kind of the wall art right there. And then this is Lonnie and I's computer desk. Uh, we have we just share this. This is of course where I print all of their school stuff and that is pretty self-explanatory on that. But this is just where all the supplies go. That is not supposed to be there either. Lonnie obviously came in here and messed up my system. But this is just kind of like the teacher supply drawer where all of our things go. I guess I'll put that back there. Okay, over here is just junk, just, I guess, stuff we couldn't find space for. So one of the hardest parts was when we were gonna have the homeschool room in Clearwater, we had a filing cabinet, we had a cubicle organizer, and we, oh, sorry guys, the thing. Um, and we also had a, kind of like a um, wardrobe closet closet cabinet thing for the art and science supply. Well, I didn't want to put the cubicle organizer here because that was like just asking Lex to get into it all. We are gonna get a filing cabinet and put it right between our desk and Danielle's desk right there. But as far as the arts and science cabinet. I also didn't want to get another one of those. I just didn't know where it was going to go. And again, I was really afraid that Lex was going to get into it. So instead, we turned our hallway closet into the storage room. Our bathroom, our master bathroom, has lots of things that we can put sheets and blankets in. So this is... It looks really chaotic and really crazy, but it's not that crazy, guys, I promise. Uh, this is just the art and science things up here. This is like the crayon box, um, different things, the microscope. This is just kind of the art junk Tupperware. And then I tried organizing it as best as I could, but these are just extra things like extra folders, extra notebook paper, over here's extra ink cartridge thing. Just again, extra things. These are for when the kids are painting, um, extra spirals. Uh, just again, just this kind of is our storage, but it also holds our arts and science things. And then down here is where I keep all of the kids like lesson plans. Then that's what will be going in the filing cabinet. And underneath this, you can't see it very well, but down there is Noah's math manipulatives that he uses for math, you see. And then I kept these because I might be use them for the nursery or something. So we'll see. But that is our homeschool room tour. I am very excited about it. Last year we just used like, we didn't even have a dining room table. The kids just kind of like did work on their bed or did work on the couch and that wasn't very productive. And then when we were staying with our in-laws, they had the dining room table and I had more storage there than I had last year. So it was a little bit more helpful, but to have each, child to have their own desk, their own area, their like our own organizational area. I'm really, really excited. We're on Thanksgiving break right now, but Monday the kids start back. So I'm really excited to just kind of have space and make it where school runs a lot smoother. Um, but definitely comment down below and tell me what your one must have for your homeschool room is, or if you even have a homeschool room. I know we, we didn't really plan on being able to have one when we were gonna get a new place. So to have this space, is just absolutely amazing. But
But thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that little, little red subscribe button so you can become a part of her family and you never miss a video. Bye guys.